Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos playing Star Tropics. Gotta bounce over some fireballs as we make our way into this room. It's kinda dark with some bats. We'll head down here to a room with mummies and a skull. Okay, watch out. Those mummies will try to kill you. That's what mummies do though, right? They kill. They're mad. They're dead. Come here. They move slow. That they do. And we found uh, the ringleader. Now we can pretty much ignore everything in here. Except for this block. And we can grab us a lantern which will light up the dark rooms like the one we saw earlier. We'll just kind of make our way past these, I thought, but that mummy wanted to give us a hug. Unfortunately, his hugs are toxic. So we can walk through here. Obviously, we can jump there. Now, let's use this lantern to see what's going on. Okay, looks like we need to bounce down, down, right. Then up, up, up. Now we definitely want to use a lantern here so we can see these disappearing platforms. Don't want to fall in those. That wasn't too hard, was it? Uh-oh. Thing is here, throwing stuff at us. Die, Thing. If I can get close enough to hit you. Maybe not, maybe you're just gonna stay out of my reach. There we go, I should be close enough now. And there's one more of you. Well, I can eventually hit him. Better safe than sorry, right? And there's me being sorry, even though I was trying to be safe. Let me just run over here and do this. Dang it, hand. I thought I could show off my elite jumping skills, but I guess not. So, we're not even messing with that door on the right, it's just a trap. We don't want to be trapped. rid of the dogs and we can head up north. Do we get the good stopwatch? That is the question. We do. That one freezes them. Which I mean it is just two mummies but hey any help we can get is awesome. Corey Haim wannabes. There we go. Now we could go over to the left for another wand, but we don't need it. That's mainly for if you die and have to restart in that mummy room. And there's some more hidden ghosts in here. Bone dogs. And now we get a very useful item. <laughs> I think it's pretty much mandatory. Because you need it to kill these guys. Just kind of bounce their magic back at them. Ouch. And I just, I just decided to run in the middle of both of them and not do anything good. So you kind of just hit the button as it's coming towards you. Like so. And... Let's see... Oh, I do not want that on. Okay, so if we can try to stay away from these as much as possible... 
try to get to an open area, and eventually they'll all start like running in sync, like zombies. Because I mean, that's what mummies are, pretty much, is zombies that are ashamed of their skin and want to be wrapped up. Or that just don't understand how you use toilet paper. Okay, one more. I put myself in a bad situation there a minute ago, but uh, hopefully I can get these hearts back. So we can take the bolas. trying to hide from me. This should help a little. Ooh, nice. I like being filled up on hearts. Now we gotta open the door again. Our magical mirror on the wall. And if they would appear somewhere where I can, you know, actually do something. There we go. One more. There we go. Now let's switch back to our yo yo. We want to save the bolas. We don't want to waste them because every single shot of that will help. Because we need that. Here we go. Into an empty room. Not really, though. Let's use our wand. What's that? It's a boss. Like the other ghosts, I think we're called minis. This is Maxi. So let's go to our... See, it'll stop every now and then and you can get a few good shots in or you can try to try to time it but it's hard so we only have 40 shots at this bola I'm not sure how many it takes it's not 40 but we don't want to waste too many ah it's kind of sporadic on its movement and there I am wasting health and shots Come on. And I just shot one sideways for absolutely no reason. Not a big fan of this boss. And I keep wasting shots. Here in a moment, hopefully it'll start speeding up. That means it's almost dead. Only 12 shots left. There we go, only a couple more hits. There we go. Got the ghost down. And we are through with my least favorite dungeon. <laughs> I always feel so happy inside when I beat it though. It's like, take that boss, take that. And the music's all happy once again. Let's just waste this mirror a few times, because we can. Kind of looks like we're... When we do it from this angle, it kind of looks like we're uh, playing the Fly Swatter game on Mario Paint. Let's just keep jumping here and see what happens. It's a waterfall. wonder if there's a secret behind it. And now we're outside of the graveyard again, and there's something on the floor over there, and it looks like the pond is empty. And we get more points. It has. 
What's this? Oh, we got the crystal ball. Sweetness. Let's go take this to that fortune teller. And then what do we get for that? Uh... Sleeping herb, or the herbs to wake the elf up? Or something. Let's find out. Now we have to walk all the way around this castle again. And what's up? I do have your ball. Here you go, Matoya. Or whatever your name is. And now I'm dressed up like Cloud was whenever he went to go meet the Dawn. Seems pretty bad. Now we get to go into Shikola. Should we do it now or next time? I think we'll do it next time. This is Ultra Lavos playing Star Tropics. See you all then.